Hi, this is Russ Anderson. In this tutorial, I'm going to show how we can calculate the distortion of a shot in Synthize as part of the solve, and then take that information and use it to set up a undistort node inside of After Effects that will mimic the undistortion that Synthize's image processor would normally do for you. So if for the workflow you'd rather work inside After Effects to be able to do various things to the shot, uh, you can take that Synthize undistortion and move it to After Effects. So let's just uh, take a look at our shot. Here it is, it's just a little helicopter flyby and we're going to do just a quick auto track to it. So there's our initial solve. We're going to go over to the lens panel and tell it that we want to compute the distortion. And so let's just go and resolve. And you'll see now we have a distortion value here. So we want to set up Synthize to undistort this footage. So we're going to use the undistortion workflow. This is the two different lens distortion type of workflows. One that you use when you want to deliver undistorted footage to the final customer. The second and more complicated two-pass version is when you want to deliver distorted footage to the end customer. So we're just going to set up with this first variant here. And you just saw a very slight change in the image down there that's due to the undistortion taking place. And we're going to want to be taking some of the information out of the Synthize image preprocessor and using it to set up the distortion node or undistortion node inside of After Effects. So here we are in After Effects. Let's go and open up our shot inside of After Effects and we're going to create a new composition. And with this particular workflow, the size of the result is exactly the same size as the original images. So we'll just leave our composition at the same size. And we'll take the original source footage and drop it into that composition. And now we'll go and add one of the Synthize Undistort effects to that footage. Now here you'll notice there are a number of parameters, some of which are used just for the more complex two-pass workflow. So let's go back to Synthize and we can look at the distortion number itself and in After Effects, a number of the numbers need to be multiplied either by a thousand, usually, or some by a hundred. So here we've got basically 9.487. And that's going to be our number here. 9.487. That's our basic distortion number. And you can see that the image is now a little squished down. The other thing that we need to do to correct for that is get this delta zoom number, and it's multiplied by 100, you'll see. So that's 103.67. And now we've got exactly the same image as inside of Synthize. I can just toggle this effect on and off. And you'll see the effect of the undistortion operation as it just removes that distortion. And you can now do all of your tracking and compositing using those in undistorted images and, and deliver those as the final product.